Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. G'day and welcome to another episode of Google Made Easy. My name is Peter Moriarty and I'm excited to share the episode that we have with you for this week. Now, we're going to be covering the five cloud technology disruptions that will radically change your business now and in the future. And this is a really exciting topic because this is really what's changing in cloud technology right now and what's changing in business right now. So if you want to lead your industry, if you want to lead in your business, then listen up. This is going to be a great episode for you. So before we get started, I want to cover two quick things. First of all, if you're following along at home, we do sometimes get a little bit practical in our episodes. So make sure you've taken some good notes or you've got your laptop open and you're going to follow along. Uh, we love for you to do that. Number two, make sure you're asking and sharing on social. Make sure you're connecting with me and the rest of the Business Blueprint community by using the hashtag Google Made Easy or Business Blueprint. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter. You can find all of my details on the Business blueprint.com experts page. So what are we going to cover in this week's episode of Google Made Easy? Well, this week we're going to be talking about cloud technology and we're talking about the forces that are changing during, uh, in cloud technology and how they are going to affect your business and how you can prosper and profit by being aware of these changes and making sure that you are on top of them. So we're going to cover five specific themes and then we're going to talk a little bit about how you can profit from it as well. So let's go through what those themes are. First up, we're going to cover changing software, how cloud software will change the software that you choose to run your business and which industries are going to be disrupted by that changing software software first. This is a really interesting topic because cloud software is what drives our businesses. All of the software that we use for, uh, you know, for our computers, on our mobile devices, this is how we get work done. And any of the changes and the updates in this software can change whole business models, business industries, and you may even find yourself being disrupted by new business models with cloud technology already. So that's going to be a really interesting one to cover. Next up, changing people. How cloud technology will uh, enable and uh, liberate small business outsourcing and make it accessible to small businesses, where previously it's only been accessible to large businesses before. And this is going to change the game for your staffing and also how you can get the edge in growing your team. Next up, we're going to cover changing connections, how the speed of the internet is going to change everything. Now, you remember there was the mobile device revolution. You know, we've now got these amazing smartphones that do everything in our pocket. The speed of internet access is going to change everything again. So this is a very, very exciting one to talk about. Next up is changing devices. We've got our smartphones. We've got our iPads. We've got our tablets. We've got our iPad Pros, all of these devices. How are these going to change the way that we're working and how are new new generations of our staff going to change that we work as well. Our fifth theme is changing leaders, how you need to change to make sure that you are actually leading in the cloud revolution and you're making the right decisions for your team and for your business. And we're going to cover which companies are going to be leading the cloud. Hopefully you're going to be one of them and how that revolution is going to change everything and how you can be one of them. Really excited to share that. Finally, we're going to cover and finally, we're going to cover how to prosper and profit in the cloud revolution, how you can be one of the businesses that is a disruptor and you can lead your industry as well. So let's get started. First up, we're going to cover changing software and how software is going to completely change the game. Now, I want to talk a little bit about a very special software product called Zero.com. And for anyone who hasn't come across Zero before, it's Xero.com. Now, this is an interesting story. This is a New Zealand-based company, and they built a software product for the accounting industry. Now, you might be used to software products such as MYOB is quite a popular one in Australia. Uh, there's QuickBooks, um, there's Reckon. Uh, all all of these different software products help bookkeepers and accountants get books uh, done for small businesses. Now, Zero.com were a startup business. The founders are actually ex-members uh, of the MYOB uh, accounting software platform, and they decided to build their software platform 100% online and in the browser. And just to be clear, when we talk about cloud technology, we typically talk about software that lives 100% in the browser. So you don't have anything to install on your computer. You don't have any server software 
to install on your local server. You don't have to dial into a VPN. We're talking about pure cloud software that lives 100% in your website browser window. So in Firefox or Chrome or, or Internet Explorer. Now, this software company, Zero, they started an accounting business to disrupt the accounting industry. Now, they already knew that the existing software was clunky, it was difficult to install, you'd end up with multiple different versions, and you'd have customers who are sometimes on an older version of the software, and, and those companies had to uh, you know, support all those customers on all kinds of different versions and all kinds of different computing platforms. The founders of Zero knew that if they built something in the web browser, then there would be one consistent experience for everybody that uses that software platform. Platform. So that's what they did. Now, not only building this in the browser uh, opened it up to not having to deal with installing any software on your computer, it also fundamentally changed the way that their customers interacted with their software. Now, previously, if you were using a, a, a more uh, you know, outdated uh, piece of software like MYOB or, or QuickBooks or Reckon, um, then what you would actually have to do is at the end of the quarter, you'd send your data file over to your accountant, you'd have to email it to them, and they'd make some changes, and then that send the data file back to you. And it was you know, kind of a linear way of working. You'd do some work, and then someone else would do some work, and then it would ping pong back to you. Uh, but what cloud software enabled is multiple people to work on the same set of data from the same browser window and effectively working together in the same interface in real time. Now, what that enabled was uh, you didn't have to obviously send off your data file at the end of every quarter, but there were even more advantages that they didn't quite realize even when they first started this software. So some of the other cool things that Zero.com can do is automatically talk to your bank and pull in your data from your bank feeds. So all of your transactions are automatically entered into your accounting package and they are automatically reconciled against the correct accounts once you set up some rules and so forth. Now, that was a big game changer for accountants and bookkeepers. And what that meant was accountants and bookkeepers cut down on a whole lot of manual work because Zero.com automated that. But this was obviously a little bit scary and a little bit disruptive to a lot of people in the industry. There were some people who were used to making a lot of money by billing their clients for the time they spent entering all of that data into a software program like MYOB manually. And there were other accountants who had trained their staff on, uh, on existing software programs, and they weren't quite ready to, uh, to you know, take on a new piece of software that may have been more efficient and definitely had lots of productivity gains, but it was a change. And that, you know, that change was a little bit scary because they'd invested in so much in what they were already working on. And there was a third type of business owner. The third type of accountant were the ones that were just stuck in the past and didn't want to change to a new piece of software full stop because it was kind of like an insult to them that a piece of software that didn't have all of the same features as what they were using right now was you know, coming into the marketplace and trying to do something different. Now, this caused a bit of divide within the accounting industry. You had the, uh, typically the younger, more innovative uh, accountants and advisors and bookkeepers who embraced this new cloud technology. And what they did was they started recommending it to their clients. And uh, eventually, Xero has grown a massive user base. Right now, they have over 600,000 customers and they're growing at ridiculous rates every year, sometimes 30, 40, 50 percent and even more each year, year on year. Now in the US market, Zero.com just recently posted that they have grown over 111 percent in just one year in the US market, which is really just amazing. Now the most interesting thing about this story is that now that the innovators moved over to this new software platform, it has built a new ecosystem and community around businesses that are using this platform. And that has had a snowball effect that now Zero is becoming the market leader for small business accounting and bookkeeping and payroll software for the Australian and New Zealand markets. And no doubt they're going to make a big splash in the US market as well. Now, let's just have a think about this. We had existing incumbent software that was using outdated methods for, um, you, you know, for their software distribution, for their updates distribution, and the way that the software was architected detected, and a cloud technology disruptive startup was able to innovate around those incumbent businesses and build a product which took a very specific need that the market had and has had tremendous success. 
Now, that's not to say that all of the existing software vendors are, are outdated and, and that they're no good. What we're saying is that the cloud companies are much more innovative and were able to iterate faster because they were a disruptor. Now, this kind of software is happening not just in the accounting industry, but in every industry. And don't be surprised if this is coming right for your industry as well. So our advice for you is to take a look at the kind of software that's disrupting your industry and be first. Don't be one of the laggards that holds on to the old way of doing things and the older software because that's going to keep you and your business in the past when you've got an opportunity to innovate. So what kind of industries are going to be next for disruption? It's easy to see that the accounting and the bookkeeping industry have really led the way. Now, we're seeing massive movements, particularly in consulting industries, in any kind of information worker industries, in lots of business services kind of companies. Um, we're seeing innovations in retail. We're even seeing innovations in uh, field worker and, and trades and services type businesses. And this is because all of these businesses need better software for them to be able to operate, and cloud-based software is helping to get much more done with less, without the crazy overheads of servers and infrastructure and software updates and IT maintenance and all of that old world IT technology that comes with non-cloud software. Now, have a look at the vendors and the software programs that you're using currently and have a think about whether or not they're aligned with the cloud strategy that you want to have in your business. We've spoken to many cloud vendors and it's quite a clear divide. Some of them are quite anti-cloud and they're just focused on building their software and they're interested in, in small businesses employing servers and IT managers and uh, you know, IT support staff and IT contractors to manage all of that infrastructure and manage the databases. And then you have the disruptors who are on the other side of the fence who are interested either in either rewriting their existing software that they have in the marketplace or there's new companies that are popping up and completely disrupting the incumbents, just like Zero.com, in every industry. And they are focused on doing things the new way and completely upending the market that the existing incumbent software companies have all to themselves. So take a look at the software that you're using right now and have a look, is this software serving your business and is the strategy of that software company to embrace the cloud to continue enjoying this presentation download Bryn the world's first business advisor in your pocket to find out more visit Bryn.ai or search the app store today